Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back today. And if you're new here and visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I do lots of DIYs, trash to treasure, furniture flips with my husband Chris, and thrifting adventures to fit into the farmhouse decor. So in today's video, my husband Chris is going to be bringing you a furniture flip. And what he is doing is he has three bookshelves that I have thrifted and he is fixing them up and getting them ready to resell in our retail booth. Now one of them I, I'm calling a mini china hutch because it kind of has some little cubbies like a bookshelf but it also has some storage uh, underneath so who couldn't use extra storage and I just couldn't pass up these nice wooden um, bookshelves when I was out thrifting. So I ran across these three bookshelves while out thrifting and though that we don't usually do a lot of the bookshelves I thought why not I think people would absolutely love to you know use them for home decor or actually use them for bookshelves I just thought these were beautiful pieces I really love the size of this little bookshelf it could go in a bedroom a living room a family room just a nice little cubby area to display things on I absolutely love that little molding in the front and the little molding you know just just the little details of it and then to me, this is actually kind of like a mini china hutch. You know, it's a bookshelf on the top, but then it also has some drawers and some extra storage. Who couldn't use extra storage in their house? It had a little bit of wonkiness, but I knew it wasn't, wasn't anything that Chris could not fix. And you know, that's the reason, you know, the wonkiness or something broken like a little piece of this bookshelf. Either that's the reason that people donated them or it happens when they donate them when, you know, they're moving around. I'm not really sure, but it wouldn't be a thrifted item if we didn't have something to fix. So now he'll just assess them, seeing if there's any wonkiness that needs to be taken care of, any other marks that he didn't notice other than that shelf. This is just the time to just kind of look around them and see if there's anything that needs to be fixed. So to fix that shelf that's missing a piece, you know, he's going to use some of the Durham water putty. We have absolutely fallen in love with this stuff. It's priced reasonable and it just works and acts just like wood. I, I'm not, don't think you can stain it to match, but since we paint our items, that is okay with us. So he's just miss, mixing a little bit of the powder and with a little bit of water and then he will... Um, work it onto where that spot is missing its wood and then let it dry and then sand it and shape it into what he needs it to match the rest of the piece. Now for this piece, it was kind of pulling away. It's kind of missing something to hold the two pieces together and there's not really a lot to nail, you know, try to re-nail it. It was just splitting through that particle board that was on the back. So what he's doing is taking a piece of wood to kind of beef it up, let's say, just so when he does nail it in, it has something to hold on to. And then it was still kind of, you know, pulled away from each other, you know, some splits happening. It was still nice paneling in the back. So what he's going to do is just take some CA glue. And so you just put a little bit of this glue on and then um, spray a little bit of that dryer and it's an instant bond just wonderful like that and you know just a gr great quick fix and now he's removing any of the hardware yep the bookshelves do have hardware they have hanging systems and you know I we truly believe that if you can remove any of the pieces and parts from a piece of furniture and not paint over it it just gives you a cleaner look and so that's what he's doing right now is just removing any hardware that's on these pieces and then as you can see that this wood is kind of loose, the joints kind of loose there, it's not totally together. So now he's just gonna put some tight bond glue in there. It's a nice wood glue. And then he will clamp it and let it sit until it's dry so that that is nice and secure and nice and tightened right back up. Then when getting the clamp in place, taking a rag towel just to wipe off any excess glue that seeps out. And now that he's got all the pieces and parts fixed and the hardware removed, it's time to clean these pieces. Prep is very important when painting. You want to get any oils, any residue that is left on these pieces off so the 
paint would adhere properly. So he's just using the crud cutter. We absolutely love to clean pieces like this. You know, it's just a great prep. So now he's just do, starting to paint these pieces using the black onyx ready to use paint that I get at Walmart. You just pick it right off the shelf and just start painting with it. Probably stir it a little bit first since it's settled, but we absolutely love the color of this paint. It is a flat black and he will do at least two coats to cover. Now that that Durham water putty is dry, he can go in and sand it. So what he's going to need to do is kind of make it into a square box, sand it in it as smooth and level as he can using a 150 grit. And then he'll try to follow the lines that are on the front of that shelf to get to complete the look the whole way down. And this is where you look at a piece going, wow, I really like this in black. You know, we, we paint a lot of white, but some pieces just, you know, they have those two darker pieces just look good in black. And so I think that's where they're going to stay. Now to freshen this hardware up, after he cleaned that with some crud cutter to get any residue off of this, and that's a lot more hardware than you probably thought were on a couple bookshelves in a Let's go. I'm still going to call it a tiny china hutch. And he's just using the Rust Oleum paint and primer in flat black to give these new life. And then, after a couple coats of the black, he's going to seal the paint in with some polyacrylic spray. It just, you know, yes, I know you're like, it's all covered, but it's just nice to give it that nice seal. You know, so the, this is hardware, it's metal, there's nothing for it to soak into, so it's just laying on that item but when you seal it in with that polyacrylic it just gives it a nice i'm going to say a hardened seal that you know just like a waxing item you know or a top coat or anything like that the same thing for these metal pieces just to seal it in with some polyacrylic so now it's on to painting the one hutch with the bookshelf and the cubbies a white with the kills paint and primer in one now um, he didn't get video of this but i'm just inserting what paint that we use and then a little bit of the how it goes over the black and he will do two three four coats to cover and um i just didn't want you to miss how lovely this paint is now when it comes to the white piece on his distressing what he's going to do is he's taking some 220 sandpaper and then he's running you know he's doing a heavy hand meaning he's pushing down hard on those sharp edges where he wants a little bit of that black paint and a little bit of that natural wood to show and that's how you get that distressing look and then when it comes to the parts that are left white then he's just sanding lightly enough just to take any feel of any brush strokes off that just leaves a nice smooth finish and then for the body of this piece, he takes a 300 grit on the orbital sander and just runs it over the entire what he can reach with this. And that just leaves a very just nice, smooth feeling, almost like glass. It just makes it nice and smooth. And then for the pieces and parts that he can't get with the orbital sander, he just has to go in and hand sand them using the same grit. And then to finish this piece off, he's just using some Varathane finishing wax to seal and protect that paint. This is kind of a wipe on, wipe off, little buffing required. You can just see what this Varathane wax does when you apply it. It just almost, you can just see that happy little wood come right through and how it just, you know, you can almost see how smooth it just makes that paint. It just absolutely makes everything pop. That's why we love it so much. And now it's time to replace the hardware on this little mini china hutch. <laughs> I know that sounds funny to call this little thing that, but it's a nice little bookshelf storage unit. But I just love what pops of the black hardware does against that white. It just, I, I will always love that look.
Now, before we can sand these black pieces, we are going to be coating them with some polyacrylic that just seals in that black paint and makes it so that we can distress it. And so I'm just using a brush that's made specially for this kind of um, product. So you just kind of wipe it on, you know, and then try to get on as even coats. It does kind of self level just a little bit. So, and then we'll just let that dry. So now it's time to distress these black pieces. So I'm taking a piece of 150 sandpaper. It's a higher grit because of the polycrylic is a nice tough sealer as it should be. So it takes a little bit to get down to that natural wood. And then to sand the rest of the piece, I'm just using a steel wool in a fine grit. And that just takes that shine of that polycrylic off just I mean, even though it's a matte finish, there's still like a little bit of a shine. So now it's time to get these black pieces to pop using this Waverly Antiquing Wax. I absolutely love this product and yes, it will make them pop. It turns this dull black into just this showpiece of a black. I absolutely love what it does as it mixes together. It seals in that black paint and that polycrylic and then it just richens up that little bit of the distressing where we sanded it. I have to say that Chris did an awesome job with that Durham water putty matching this front of this shelf and for that bookshelf. So now it's on to replacing all the hardware onto these bookshelves. And, you know, that's why when you're painting, you want to, you know, you want to paint the little holes where, you know, your brackets and all your hardware goes, but you don't want to fill them up with paint either. I absolutely love how this piece turned out. I love what the white looks on it. I love that it shows off all those details that that orange just, you know, just updating this wood, you know, that I'm not really a big fan of the orange wood, but you know, some people love it and taste is personal, but I absolutely love how this turned out. Those knobs just pop against that white. And all that distressing just now shows that beautiful detail. And who couldn't use some extra storage? And would you ever have thought that a black paint would make something pop? Just distressing those sharp lines and all those little details and adding that Waverly Antiquing Wax, that brown wax. Just look at all the details that pop on these what were just plain and simple little bookshelves just now have so much more character. When you saw this in the thrift store, would you have stayed clear of it because of the brokenness on the shelves? Or would, now that you know about the Durham water potty and how easy it is to use, would you pick this piece up and give it a try? I always think who couldn't use extra storage, extra places to display your items that you love that makes your home a home? I just absolutely love these black pieces just as much as I love the white pieces. And I think these neutral pieces can go into anybody's home. So I thank you so much for watching today's video. And if have I inspired you in any way to look at thrifted furniture just a little bit differently. Again, I thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're part of my YouTube family that has helped me grow over 10,000, thank you so much. It means so much to us that you have supported our channel by watching our videos and giving us comments and likes. And if you would like to become part of our YouTube family, just hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and a quick comment if you feel so inclined to do. Thanks again. And yes, this is how I had to do my opening and closing of this video is my cat squirt wanting all the attention that he could get.